Hello ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, continue the previous movie as I uh, promised you in the end of the previous movie about uh, the standalone network CI uh, conditional access module um, card. We're going to test today uh, Astra Sesbo, uh, which is produced by Sesbo company from uh, Ukraine, yeah, uh, alongside with the TBS uh, 6900 um, CI conditional access module uh, network uh, standalone card PCI Express card. So for today test, uh, I have already prepared uh, some um, um, already some transponder. Yeah, it's we are using the TBS uh, 6590 DVB card. Uh, I've chosen a tuner. There are also the TBS 690 dual CI. Uh, one and two, you can see here the, um, the um, nodes of the uh, CAM of the conditional access module, uh, PCI Express conditional access module. Yeah, I have scanned some random frequency with some symbol rate, uh, already got the channels working. Now, to use the TBS 690 uh, conditional access module PCI Express in the long card, you have to do a couple of steps. The first step is you need to add in the stream this particular end CAC uh, parameter. Uh, why you need this? Because by default, uh, the Astra Sesbo. It's not able to, I mean, by default, it will not send also the ECM and EMM uh, uh, inside the TS files. So adding this parameter, and uh, thank you very much to Dimitri from the Astra support, which uh, he shared with me uh, this small but very important um, fact. So with this end CAC parameter in the stream uh, name you will be able to stream the whole uh, TS file alongside with the uh, ECM and the EMM uh, case. Uh, I have set for output uh, UDP uh, you can set well, of course whatever network resource you you, you want yeah so uh, the steps are like this first we do the scan Second, we modify a little bit the channel which we are want to send it to the cam. Yeah, and we select the output of the stream. So actually we have the, um, the channel here from the DVB tuner. Here we have, it can be remote machine which has on that machine uh, a um, TBS 6900 uh, CI uh, uh, car. CAM, yeah, conditional access module with uh, CAM and the smart card and everything. Of course, you can uh, press apply, uh, it will apply and uh, the output, it will uh, look like this. Of course, uh, initially the, the scrambled stream, uh, you're going to notice that without this parameter, this it's going to be red. When you change the parameter and cast parameter, yeah, it will become also green. So basically at this point, this per particular channel, HBO HD or some any scramble channel, um, yeah, it's already prepared and sent, it's still encrypted, it's sent to the um, CI, uh, to the network CI uh, resource. So we're going to go to the network CI resource. At the input, yeah, we have used this particular uh, Astra output to fill it here in in the SPTS. Of course, if you are working with MPTS, you can do the analysis and you can add the MPTS right here. Or if you are working directly with some other tuners, which are, which tuners which don't have satellite tuners, especially which don't have um, uh, cam, you can scan directly on the machine if the tuner is on the same machine. Yeah. And you can use streams or TS files from here. Uh, for the moment, the MPTS and the TBS adapters we will ignore because we are already uh, adding the streams, the stream from uh, a remote uh, area. So um, this is the uh, path, the uh, UDP path with the port, of course. Um, once is an input, you can uh, tick apply. When you tick apply, also will automatically apply uh, on the first line here, yeah, 
of course for another channel you will set another IP with another port and so on they will be automatically mapped up to 25 uh, channels is going to be possible to add if of course your uh, cam is able to support the scrambling is if it's a professional cam a Konax or uh, Irdeto 2 professional uh, with uh, many M with MTD multiple threads the scrambling Okay, so it said we're gonna go to Remux. Initially, in the Remux page, you can select which of the cams you want to use. Yeah, cam one or cam zero. In our case, it's cam zero. It's already set. You will see here the the stream which is coming from Astra already is picked up by uh, our framework. Yeah, and uh, at this point, it's already uh, hooked up, uh, connected with the uh, cam uh here as assigned to the cam once it's assigned to the cam you can hit apply and it will move you can move from here look i'm gonna do this for you so initial the initial setup is like this yeah once you have set all your channels which you have which you want to scramble with the, the remote ci with the remote cam yeah you select them from here and move them here and you can choose to which of the cam to go yeah to cam one or to cam zero in our case uh, in our case we're gonna use the the cam uh, zero because the cam zero has a test uh, a test cam so i have added yeah i'm gonna hit apply of course you have some um, uh, also some parameters here you can uh, magnify the output of the bitrate if you are using 4k channels which the bitrate is a lot higher than 50 mbps yeah here you before applying you can modify them in our case we will use only a uh, full hd uh, stream so i'm gonna hit apply and i need to wait a little bit for a uh, for a message yeah it's success so at this point the stream which is coming from astra sesbo machine it's hooked up and it's paired with the cam zero from the network cam and now i'm gonna need to set up the the output uh, in this case uh, yesterday case we are we have used udp in the today case we're gonna use the http so basically when you hit apply here actually when you will uh, enable here you will be allowed to modify the parameters here you can uh write down udp already the syntaxes are here yeah you can write down udp or uh, rtp or http yeah and then all you have to do is just to apply uh once you're applying uh, you're gonna get a message yeah let's see if it's okay or, or if, if it's not okay if something not okay you will not get any message here or you will get an error message of course if you press here to scan at the initial setup it will show nothing let me show you yeah i'm gonna copy the ip if we press scan it will disappear it will scan the uh, and check if the uh, stream the remote stream it's uh, hooked, hooked up with the um, with the cam properly and if there is link between them yeah and when it's finishing scanning yeah it will open the field you just have to fill in the ip the destination ip and the port click enable and apply and that's it for each channel which you are adding individually you're gonna need to uh, uh, do this okay now uh, with this IP address yeah we should be able in VLC to uh, open the stream yesterday we tested with UDP today we're gonna test with um, uh, HTTP there is however a little bit of um, um delay because uh, because of the network mostly and also sometimes there is a delay when you are using um how it's called um ci plus uh, when you are using ci plus cams because the ci plus cam is much more complex and uh, it needs a little bit of uh, uh bigger uh, response time uh, so uh, as I was saying, uh, just copy paste the um, output of the um, of the stream, which is uh, right here, yeah, in the network output. 
uh, copy paste it to the VLC, double click the VLC and uh, as you can see the VLC will start uh, playing if you are using VLC for uh, watching or decoding uh, the stream. This is it, simple and uh, very useful, especially for operators, for small operators, for medium or big size operators, for people who are uh, using our products uh, especially. The setup between uh, Astra Sesbo and our TBS 6900 uh, conditional access module, uh, dual conditional access module card. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye bye.